Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of Let's Play Resident Evil 4. Last time we reached the first quick time event of the game. No, second quick time event of the game. First quick time event that happens in the middle of a cutscene. I'm spinning around in circles and I don't know why. Uh, in this episode we're going to snipe some bitches, so let's get to it. And also get to see... Merchant. Yes, we get to see the merchant for the first time. And sell him a weapon. And a bunch of other stuff. I say it's gonna be worth uh, two thousand. I can't remember what it's worth. Yeah, I, don't I don't remember what it's worth either. Yeah, stranger. It's either a thousand or two thousand. Okay, what I just what I just did here. This you don't do that. Don't kick the door open. Oh, oh, that's right. Because you can alert the the uh, Ganados on the other side. Yeah. You usually won't, but it is possible, and they'll just start attacking you immediately. So don't do what I do. <laughs> Let's go visit the the uh, merchant. Everybody loves the merchant. Got something that Got some interest you. Got a selection of yes, good Reef, uh, sales, stranger. Nah, he just has guns. What are you selling? Sell the ruby. Ah, I'll buy it at a high. <laughs> Sell that. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see, Sell where is it? Shotgun. <laughs> Thank Ten you. grand. Really? Yeah. I guess it would be, never mind. Tune up. Ah, I'll... Oh, <laughs> thank you. I can get the exclusive upgrade on the blacktail. Worth it. So worth it. That's oh, look at that. 4.5. Oh, that's good. Yeah. For a handgun, that is damn good. That's really good for a handgun. That's what I'm going to be focusing on for buying from the merchant is uh, those upgrades. Do I have anything to combine that with? No, I do not. Okay. Yeah, there's a faster way to combine herbs in this game, by the way. Too. I have no idea what it is. You just, you just uh, pick up a herb and drop it on another herb and it combines it. Oh. Let's kill some people. There's one, two, that is three. There, I got a guy in the head. Yeah, yeah there we go. That one guy doesn't notice you yet. I'm surprised he hasn't noticed you. He usually, like, finds out about you pretty quick after you start shooting you. Yeah, he usually does. I'm surprised, too. Uh, let's get this guy up here. Shoot him in the ass. Where is this other guy? I know there's a guy right up front. Where is he? Well, it doesn't matter. It's going to be like 15 enemies that come and try to attack you as soon as you step out of there anyway. Even though I've killed like seven. You ready? Let's do it. Yeah. Ambush these bitches. For some reason, they don't really care that their guys are shot by a sniper, but oh well. 
I guess I don't notice, but how could you not notice? Can't hear the fucking sniper. Yeah, that's the guy that I was trying to get with the sniper rifle right up front. He's the one who always notices it too. Usually. I guess he was freaking deaf in this playthrough, because he. Ah, shit. Dynamite. Really? Oh, it's like. Okay, there we go. Died. He just fucking just died all of a sudden. Didn't even, didn't even shoot him. <laughs> he got kill Enemies him. carrying dynamite can be your detriment, or they can be like a great help. Yeah, because they, if, you, if you're on top of like a roof or something, and there's like a ladder there, and there's all group of enemies below, they, they'll actually like throw the dynamite like retards people. Getting fucked by that right <laughs> now. If somebody grabs you with dynamite behind and you don't struggle to get off, they'll actually like explode and explode into like just dust pretty much. You just explode into bits. Yep. Exploding barrel fun. Some random cast tanks. The exploding barrels are there solely to be used to kill enemies, so take advantage of that when you play this section of the game. And for some reason, there's gas and wooden barrels later on in the uh, castle. Because this part of this world uses so much gas. And gas and wooden barrels, as you know, necessity in a castle. Obviously, right? What are a bunch of religious zealots gonna do with a freaking wooden barrel of gas, anyway? Not a freaking clue. Oh, are you the only one left? No, you can't be. Nope. I think the game does stop spawning enemies after a while, but... It does. It takes a while. Like, it spawns a lot of enemies, so... Because I usually never go in any of the shacks in this area. I usually just get the pieces of that um, and I just leave. I don't know why, because I have really good guns. Like, I just have, like, the Chicago typewriter and stuff in that game, so... Which gun is it that you can get infinite ammo for? Um, you mean as in like upgrading or just... Yeah, upgrading you can get infinite yeah, ammo for. the hand it. cannon is the only gun you can upgrade with, um, unlimited ammo. It's also, I think it's the most powerful gun in the game next to the rocket launcher. Which does 1,000 damage as I remember. Yeah. We will be using a rocket launcher on at least one boss. Oh, uh, counting the final one? I see no reason to use the rocket launcher on the final boss. He's not that hard. Okay, uh, does the actual, like, final rocket launcher, like, kill count? Like the red I don't know, it, uh, but that boss that you freeze with the, uh... Oh, Vert Vertugo? Yeah, that guy. I, oh yeah, that's a good. That's a really good enemy to use one on. I always use one on him because he's piss annoying. Otherwise, yeah, he's one hit kill pretty much. Oh my god! When I first played, fuck boss. Oh, so yeah, he is a one hit kill if you hit him with the rocket launcher. The, yeah, when he's in, uh, when he's frozen by liquid nitrogen. I think I got them all. Okay, so let's go this way. Up here? And let's get these two. <laughs> Always have room for more rifle ammo in my... That's an anthrax song. Room for one more. It's off of That's a good anthrax song, too. Yeah, it's my favorite song of that album, too, by the way. It's Sound of White Noise, right? Yeah. 
definitely the best album they did with John Bush. Oh, you know, yeah. say what you will about An John Bush not belonging in Anthrax. He, did, he didn't. But they made a damn good album. Yeah, that's the only John Bush album I like with Anthrax. Wait, when he was in Anthrax. Then they decided that they were going to take a bunch of classic Anthrax songs, originally sung by Joey and whoever the singer was before Joey, whose name I can't remember off the top uh, of my head. Some tur Neil Turbin? No. Um, Neil Turbin? I don't, I don't know. I do not remember for the life of me. Yeah, I can't remember. But, but yeah, they made a album full of re-recorded songs with John Bush. It's just fucking dumb. It's like, like they he pretty much ruined like the Joey's type of singing, obviously, because he can't sing like Joey. Like, yeah, I mean, I, I have nothing against John Bush. Armored Saint's a good band, but it's not like you know, it's not Anthrax sounding, you know, like at all. Yeah, it's very different from Anthrax. It's, it's not thrash metal. His, his vocal style is completely different, too, so... Speaking of Anthrax, I got uh, their album Among the Living for Christmas. On vinyl? No. Oh. I, I did get an album on vinyl. I got uh, Seven Churches by Possessed. Oh, yeah. That's a damn good album. Among the Living? Freaking awesome. Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's actually probably my favorite of theirs. I don't know if I like that or I like spreading the disease more. Both are fantastic. It's, it's always it's always a toss up between Among the Living and per Persistence of Time for me. Persistence of Time is also. I mean, does Anthrax have a bad album with Joey singing? I, I don't think so. No, because uh, the freaking new one's really fuck. Yeah, it is. I was pleasantly surprised by that. You know, I was like, Joey has been a band a member of this band for a long time. I I'm a little bit worried about how this is going to turn out, but it was fine. It, the, the album is great. Yeah, it was really good. They held up the test of time. Okay, the Elegant Mask is over here in this area. Let's point at it right there. Pointing. At, I will point at it in a little bit on this other screen. Yep, there we go. Right there. That, that We will figure out how to get that in a little bit. It involves the boarded up window beside the yeah. Spoilers. I guess I already did spoil something in this game so far. So one. I shot that one guy in the dick. He doesn't really carry. I'm so used to not shooting them in the head to minimize the, uh... The, uh... Lost Plagas popping out. That, that, that only happens, like, on the... Yeah. And I know that, but I'm so used to shooting them in the gut that I just keep shooting them in the gut. This, this one. And sometimes I'll not. It's the other one. And sometimes, um, sometimes even if you do shoot them, the chest will still pop out. It's kind of bullshit. I hate that enemies can go right through the damn thing. I think the enemies can walk right through bear traps and you can't. Come on. They're impervious to bear traps, apparently. <laughs> bear trap mechanism, like, oh yeah, their foot's still activated because they're... Uh -huh. I don't know why they're impervious to bear traps, but yeah, they are freaking impervious to bear traps. High tech ass bear traps they got there. That's identifying software on it or some shit. I don't know. Just let. I'm almost gonna hide in my hangar. Oh! oh it's fire. Dude! I just got fucked up. Yeah, but I'm about to get a giant fish, so. Oh, I'm up. yeah. You wanna go fishing? Hell yeah. You just throw a grenade down there and get all those fish in one swoop. I'm not that concerned about my health. This is how you get to the elegant mask, and you want to get the elegant mask. If you care about money. 
My money, money, money. Taking away the moments that make up the dull day. I'm gonna get sued for singing these lyrics <laughs> on this video. Yeah, because of YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, they've been treating me like shit lately. Oh, yeah. But like, okay, I have a uh, bootleg that I've had uploaded to my channel for two and a half years. And it's by far my most viewed bootleg. Oh, Pink Floyd. And they blocked every single song in it. Oh, my God. I never monetized it, but YouTube blocked every single song in it. Like, what's the big deal now? Why block it now? It's like, oh, this is your most successful video series, technically. And we want you not to show this shit now. We're YouTube and we're dicks. We're not as cool as we used to be back in 2005 when we first started. And again, it wasn't fucking bought out yet, so it was still cool. You kill those fish. They somehow survive shrapnel blasts like that, and they're still in pristine condition. Leon, eat it, it, Leon eats the entire fish, he just like shoves it in his mouth and eats the entire thing. And it makes him healthy. <laughs> yeah. As video games. Has an attaché case that is a size is bigger than the size of all those guns and all those items, and he's like in his back pocket or something. Uh, no, because you know. video games. Because of video games. Let's move this here. Let's move this here. Let's carry this because that's what I need is more healing items, right? <laughs> healing items. <laughs> yes, I usually don't actually carry the fish just because it takes up so damn much. Yeah. Let's go to the church. Yeah, I used to carry smaller ones. And yes. Oh, do you know about that well behind you when you spawn here? What? The church? Yeah. I mean the, the house right here, I mean. There's a well with the pocket watch or beside the cabin or whatever. They really want me to step in bear traps. Uh, if you could just go ahead and do that, it'd be great, okay? Oh, oh shit. Oh, you, oh, no. What'd you do? Oh, you just... <laughs> yeah. Oh, I accidentally hit the button twice instead of once. You lost, um, 9,000 from that. It's worth 10,000, it's only worth 1,000 now. Yeah, fuck. What the fuck, they... These are encoded, like, the best way, but okay. Oh god, no, I hate these fucking puzzles. Oh, wait, did, wait, did you start it yet? No. Uh, do the first one. Up. And do it left. That's it, it's over. I remember this one being fairly easy, but I still hate these fucking puzzles. The one at the church really pisses me off. Oh yeah, that one's... Actually, I, I, remember, I memorized the, how the strategy guide told me to do it. That's yeah, cool. I always use the strategy guide, too. You just gotta hit the, um... Oh, yeah, I'll just tell you when you get there. Let's get the insignia key. And also the drawer with the handgun ammo. Chief's note. Oh yeah, and also a file, too. As instructed by Lord Sadler, I have... The agent and confinement alive. Why keep him alive? I do not fully understand what the Lord's intentions are. I would, however, think he'd keep them separate, not confine them together, as has been ordered. I don't expect Willis would trust a stranger, but by but if by chance they do did cooperate, the situation could get a bit more complicated. 
if for some reason an unknown third party is involved, I don't think they'd let a chance like this slip by. But maybe it's all Lord Sanders' ploy, leaving us vulnerable so that this third party will surface, if they even exist, that is. It's an unlikely possibility. If a prowler is already amongst us, then our plans could be ruined. I guess the Lord thinks it's worth the risk if we're able to stop whatever conspiracy is at work. At any rate, it's the Lord's call. We tr well, we will always trust His judgment. We will trust His judgment as always. Blah blah blah. Where's that f***ing drawer? Metal references for the win. One of the few albums on that web on uh, Metal Archives that actually has a good rating. Yeah, not right. It's got like a shit ton of reviews and a good rating. It has, it has like about 15 reviews, and every single one of them is above an 85. Okay, cutscene time. Choke and stroke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really what's going on here, but it's close enough. Stay classy, Japan. <laughs> the only time he speaks English in the entire game. You carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. What? Same blood. In chapter 1 2. 1. Okay, I'm gonna call this episode here. How much longer do you think you can stay up? Yeah, I, I could do one more. Okay, thank you everybody for watching this episode of Let's Play Resident Evil 4. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. That would be greatly appreciated. We will talk to you guys next time. Thanks everybody, bye.